configure VR ops. Hey guys, welcome back. In the first part, I showed you how to deploy VR ops 7.0 in a vSphere environment. In this second part, I will show you how to configure VR ops. So after deploying the VR ops appliance, we need to configure the VR ops. You can see the VR ops appliance has been powered on. And in the console, it says to configure the VR ops appliance. So I'm going to open up a web browser and type in the IP address of the VR ops appliance that we entered during the deployment. All right, so you'll end up with get started welcome screen. Um, so here you'll see three options, express installation, new installation, expand and existing installation. Regardless of what option you select, the master node is the required and initial node in your VROps cluster, and a single master node can handle both administration as well as data handling. Now you'll use new installation if you want to create a new master node, if it is the first installation of VROps. And after creating a master node, you can then add more nodes such as data nodes, replica nodes and remote collector nodes to form a cluster. You can use the express installation and perform the same things as the new installation, but when compared to new installation, express installation speeds up the process of installation because it uses the default certificates which differ from one organization to another. You can use expand an existing installation to add a node to an existing vRealize operations manager cluster, or if you already have a master node. In our case, we are going to select new installation. So I'll click on that. I'll click next on the getting started screen. In the set administrator credential screen, I'll specify the password for the admin account. I'll click next. In the choose certificate screen, I will select use the default certificates since I don't have any custom certificates. I'll click next. In the deployment settings screen, I will specify the cluster master node name. In my case, it is VROps01. And I will also specify the NTP server address, which is the IP address of my domain controller and I'll click on add. I will click next. In the add node screen, you can enable high availability for this cluster. I'll skip this because this is my first master node in the cluster, so I'll click next. Click finish to start the configuration of VR ops. Now you can see the cluster status as configuring. All right, so we have to wait for some time until it configures the cluster. Okay, the cluster has been configured and you can see the cluster status as not started. So I'm going to click on start vRealize operations manager and I'll see this prompt. So simply click on yes to start the application. So now you can see the cluster status as going online. And now we can see the cluster role for VROp01. It is showing up as master. All right, now you can see the state of VROp01. It is showing up as running and the status as waiting for analytics. And the cluster status is still trying to go online. So we'll give some more time. All right, it will take some time for the cluster status uh, to change from going online to online. Meanwhile, you can see uh, it is trying to uh, process some of the objects and uh, metrics. When this is being done, we can type in the uh, IP address of the VR ops and type forward slash UI at the end, and you'll get the login screen for the VR ops. So simply select local users and type in the admin credentials that we have set during the configuration of VR ops. And now a small configuration is left behind for VR ops. So I'll simply click on next on the welcome screen. 
I will select I accept the terms of this agreement and I'll click next. Enter your license key if you have one. I don't have one so I'm going to run this in evaluation mode so I'll select product evaluation. No key required so I'm going to click next. I'm not going to join the customer experience improvement program so I'm going to uncheck that and I'll click next and I will click finish. After successfully completing all the configuration you'll see this home screen and if I go back to the status screen I can see that the cluster status is online. All right so that is it. This is how you deploy and configure VRop 7.0. And I thank you for watching this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.